Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to get a large depth of field with an open aperture. Have you ever wondered yourself how to make this kind of pictures? How do you do it? You use a technique called focus stacking. As you may know, when you're using an open aperture and you focus on a close object or whatever it is you get a shallow depth of field. So basically focus staking is a photography technique that consists of shooting various pictures of the same subject from the same place. The only thing you're moving is the focus, then you assemble them in Photoshop or another software. Take this log for an example. I was in the forest so I needed to shoot with an open aperture. Shooting with a closed aperture is not possible if you want to keep a decent shutter speed. Otherwise you need to crank up the ISO, and turning down the shutter speed to be able to close the aperture. To be able to use 1 60 seconds I had to use f3.5 and ISO 400. So it's not possible to use a closed aperture in this situation. So here focus stacking comes useful. I set my camera to manual focus, you could also use the autofocus if you want. So I set the focus to the nearest point possible. Then I move the focus in each picture until the background was sharp. This can also be used in landscape photography. When you use a wide angle lens, make 3 to 6 shots with a different point in focus. So you get everything sharp from the foreground to the background. Then select all the pictures you shot earlier on. Open Photoshop and go to Files, then go the option that says Script, then choose Load Pictures into a Stack. When you open all your pictures, select Try to align the pictures automatically. Photoshop is going to load a picture per layer. Then select all the layers. Go to the menu edit. Then go to auto blend layer, then choose stack picture and press OK. Photoshop is going to pick all the sharp part in the pictures. Sometimes the edges are not sharp so use the crop tool to remove them. If you can't find the crop tool go to the bottom of the toolbar, right click on the three dots or the tools that's underneath the magnifying glass if you already selected a tool, in the menu select the crop tool, remove the blurry edges, now you are done, I hope you liked it, see you for another one.